Hi guys, hi we Kid Ted here. So today we're going to be doing Q&A hashtag 10. So we have a few questions today, probably around 6 to 10. Today we have more sensible questions, so they're not ones that involve things such as what's your favourite colour, what's your favourite food, all that stuff. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail about it because there's no need to. The first question is, and this is asked by Laura Jane Rainford, by the way guys. What's your favourite and worst things about fishing? Right. Well, my favourite things about fishing are the fact that it's really fun um, to actually sort of get a fish um, because the rod bends down and it's just it just feels like you're really getting into the action and it feels really, really cool just when the fish takes your line and you like playing it and having a fight with it. It's, re it's really good um, and I like it obviously when I catch the fish because that's just my moment of happiness basically because... Um, obviously these days I'm good at catching big trout and it's really good because um, it, it definitely is very rewarding because you're going to have it for your tea a few nights later so that's good. Worst things about fishing, there isn't really worst thing, there isn't really any worst things about fishing but um, the bad things are the fact that sometimes when you're um, sort of shooting your line out or something like that your line gets stuck in a tree that's behind you um, some people will try to like pull your rod down and sometimes it ends up snapping it or snapping the line and you may end up losing your float or your fly at the end of the line and that is not what you want to be doing um, and also you know obviously when I lose a fish if I've been playing it for a while because I never told you guys about this but I actually had a fish on for five minutes a big nice trout proper beauty sorry for sound weird there lost him at the end because he went under the jetty and he got stuck and just managed to unhook himself clever i was ashamed of myself but it wasn't really my fault so i don't know why i said that that answers your question hopefully sorry about that guys i just had to air cut the camera there because the battery went and died i mean i put a battery in it was dead so I put in another battery, that was dead, so I've got my third battery in and it's on five bars, so that's good, because now I have a full battery to film with. Woohoo! That was weird, wasn't it? I know it was. Next question. The sun is so bright! Go away, sun, for, for now, please, just go. I just have to do this. Vivian Wardle Noon asks, What's your favourite, fishing or photography? Uh, that's a hard one. It would probably have to be fishing because it's just, it's more sort of, it's obviously more physical because you're literally fighting the fish with the rod and uh, you, when you fly fishing you're pulling all the line out and when you're of course fishing for trout or just for little fish uh, you're just like that but um, probably fishing because of the fact that it's just more fun and uh, yeah like you feel really proud of yourself as soon as you've caught it because it's just it's just a it's just a big achievement really because obviously um if you catch a big trout like i might catch or my dad might catch it's 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 just really awesome and you know it's sort of more direct photography i do enjoy photography i know really what to say about photography much but um if if it was just answering your question generally i would prefer fishing more next question richard ray archuleta asks what is your favorite sports team and are you a ufo hunter right richard um so my favorite sports team i you haven't actually stated what sport you actually mean such as maybe football or rugby or basketball if it was a team any team be sail sharks they're a rugby club i actually went to watch one of their matches before you'll um be able to see a video that i actually uh, made about that i'll put a link to the description about that am i a ufo hunter um well sort of yes and sort of not because um i don't actually sort of study ufos but if for instance i'm ever taking a picture which this does happen sometimes guys honestly I can put my piece of paper down. I want to explain to you guys. Sometimes when you take a photo and you upload the pictures to your computer later or your laptop, you may find out that there's like a black dot in the sky and that's either a, some sort of bird, a balloon, some random object that's fallen out of space, just some alien spaceship thing or um, just 
just a UFO really. Um, people always say about the fact that UFOs don't exist, but they must do because, um, as you may have heard in um, the Pat Regan interview, um, he's my dad and he's an author. If you see something in the sky that you don't actually know, don't actually know what it is, then that's obviously a UFO, an unidentified flying object. I mean, yeah, it's just that that's really what UFO actually means and I'm sure you um, probably do but like when you think about the common sense like you, ha you have to have common sense to understand and know that UFOs are real because you don't know what it is in the sky so what is it it's not an identified flying object it's a UFO I'm not a teacher guys but I try my best when I actually um when for instance my dad goes out and he says that like there's a thunderstorm or something and um, the, sometimes there's UFOs in it and um, sometimes you see like UFOs in the sky around the time when thunderstorms are actually happening in your area then I would I would usually go with him in the car just to sort of take pictures of maybe the thunder and the lightning and um, if there is any UFOs in the sky then I would take pictures of him and um, I just like to sort of follow along because um, yeah it's interesting to get out and just see stuff basically so you in a way I am a UFO hunter so hopefully your question is answered as well I keep saying that I don't know why Scott Williams Collier asks how does it feel to catch your first fish on a fly so Scott Williams Collier um, he's he's a friend of mine and my dad's and he um, was on one of the videos that I've done in the past called um, book signing with Scott Williams Collier and Pat Regan I think it was um, if not apologies um, and yeah um, I'll put a link in the description to that he's um, really into my dad's books and he um, he got his book signed and um, yeah I'll just put links to the description about that links in the description it feels really good to actually catch a fish on fly because um, obviously with fly it's a lot more complicated because sort of you have to have your right fingers on the line and you have to make sure that when the fish takes it you strike like you sort of pull your rod up that's the same with coarse fishing but sort of you have to just pull it a bit more to the side whereas whereas with coarse fishing you usually pull it up but with um fly fishing you usually have to pull it to the side and then sort of the fish just takes off with the line and it'll just go <laughs> doesn't actually make that sound effect obviously all the line will just sort of go through the um go through your fingers pretty much um, and the line is all out on the floor and it'll just sort of disappear as it goes up because the fish is obviously taking it away and you have to make sure you're holding your rod up high in the air because if you don't then eventually the fish will just get off because you have to have the pressure on constantly and hopefully if I am fly fishing videos in the future um, then I will show you guys me catching a fish if I do catch one which probably should because I can catch fish I just I just really do like catching fish on a fly because it's just it's just obviously more direct and it's really interesting um, and there's a lot more sort of skill to it rather than just maybe um, reeling in and bringing it up and just holding it up a bit because there's just a lot more to it because with fly fishing you obviously have to know to wave your rod sort of back and forward and if you go too far back then um, that sort of I think it's a foul cast if you do that and you don't want to be doing that because um, you might get wind knots and you don't want wind knots in your line because um, that will obviously just sort of make your line weaker and then if a big fish comes along watch out because you could end up like snapping your line off and you really don't want that do you I'm sure you probably don't by like going into detail about these questions I just do it's really fun Brenda Porter asks the first bit is actually sort of talking about me but um, the last bit is the question with the talents you seem to be achieving especially patience re-fishing and photography not forgetting your interviewing skills because um, obviously I interview people like I've done interviews before and stuff have you thought about what you want to do in future years oh Brenda yes I've actually been considering it lately I know I probably shouldn't because um, it's a long time until I'll probably actually get a proper job because you know obviously I have to go through college and 
high school and I'm sort of, well I'm in the second year of high school now. Uh, it's really good to be honest. Um, and yeah, what I want to do when I'm older because as you guys know, I really like cars and trains. Um, so pretty much sort of engineering. So I would actually want to become a mechanic because I feel like if I learnt car outside, I'll just wait. Go, please! Um, but I can't remember what I was saying exactly. I'll have to look at the question again. Oh yeah, I remembered. I would want to become a mechanic in cars. Um, in fixing cars um, because I just think it will be really really interesting because obviously um, sort of you really sort of well I don't know I, I would like to become a mechanic because of the fact it's to do with cars and I love cars and I feel like if I learnt about it then I could be good at fixing them and it's good because if anyone needed their car fiction fixing what happened to my voice then <laughs> If anyone needed their car fixing, I could have my own garage. I could, like, fix people's cars and I could get some good money for it. I mean, I don't know if being a mechanic's a high-paying job because it, it may be now or it may not be now, but obviously in the future things are going to change because nothing stays the same. Everything changes eventually um, over, the, over the years of time. I don't know what I'm talking about once again but yeah I would like to be a mechanic and if not that I would probably want to be somebody who like washes cars not just I'm not on about just spraying water all over them because probably wouldn't get paid much more than um, six quid for doing that and hopefully if the mechanic job didn't work out um, then I could maybe do car washing because obviously um, it's 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 sort of just scrubbing the cars making sure you're getting all the mud all the dirt off it um, and I, I, I'm good at washing cars because I like wash the cars pretty much every um, weekend because obviously during the week being taken to school and that they have to be washed um, and it sort of depends on the season it is really because um, right now it's spring and um, so it's not too bad it doesn't get too dirty but like in December around January it's a bit sort of messy because sometimes you just get big dust winds where dust just goes everywhere out of sort of nowhere I don't know if it falls out the clouds it might do um, and then it just gets all over the cars and you're in a mess and yeah I, I'm pretty good at um, cleaning cars so maybe I could do that but um, if that didn't work then I would definitely want to be a mechanic but that is it for this Q&A please subscribe please like this video if you enjoyed it thank you for your questions guys hopefully you enjoyed this um, Q&A um, and I will see you all in my next video bye